Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. It can lift seven feet for every one foot of drop that comes into the pump. So if you had 10 feet falling into this, you could lift 70 feet out. So in a previous video, I used a non-return valve like this one right here. And I put this in the drive pipe to see if the pump would work. Turns out right at the pump, it did not work because there was not a pressure wave that would activate the waste valve. So in this video, we're gonna try something a little bit different. What happens if you have a really long drive pipe over the 100 foot recommended distance? If you put a non-return valve somewhere in the middle, will it return the pressure wave back to the pump and allow the pump to cycle at a decent once per second rate. So uh, in this test, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run 160 foot of drive pipe and see if the cycle time is very slow. And then I'm gonna run the same system with a stand pipe and then with this non-return valve in that same spot to see if the cycle time changes and also get a pressure rating to see what the pressure is in these three situations. I'm gonna be using a half inch ram pump here. Now my head pressure is pretty high and so it's gonna build a lot of pressure. Hopefully it won't bust things here. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll go ahead and get this primed real quick. Well, there we go, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and time the uh, cycles here and see what we get. Thirteen. So we got 13 in 20 seconds. So definitely going slower than one a second. Okay, and our pressure got up to 68 in that amount of time, which is a lot of pressure. Let's go ahead and let that out. At this connection here, I'm going to uh, pull this apart. Yeah, and I'm gonna install this T here. And then hopefully get this back together. May have to go adjust my pump a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Let me go move my pump down a little bit. So the idea with this T is to install a stand pipe, which is a pipe that comes up and will match the uh, source and then exceed it by about a foot. But in my case, it's gonna be several feet above here. Uh-oh, maybe not. I'm such a terrible judge of, of height here. I realize what's going on. There is a, an issue with this right here going up from the, the tower. So if I do that, I think it'll stop here in just a second. Because I'm about even with the bucket here. Let's see if that's gonna stop us. <laughs> nope. Anyway, well, let's continue the test here and see what we get. Well, this portion of the test may be a little bit weird, but we'll give it a try anyway here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cycling. One, two, three. three. So 23, so significant increase in the cycle time by doing this. And pressure is at uh, 84 uh, PSI. So significant increase in pressure, significant increase in cycle time. Okay, this is what you're here for. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the standpipe and the uh, Hopefully. Hey. 
two hours later. There we go. It's really on there. Okay. And I'm going to replace that section with this non-return valve that is swinging down. So it will allow water in to the pump, but not back up. Okay, let's see what we get. If you're excited to find out if a non-return valve can act as a standpipe, hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the notification bell. I post lots of content here on the Land to House channel. Okay, so the thought is replacing the standpipe with a non-return valve will allow the pressure wave to go from here, smack that valve, and come back down and be the same speed that we had on the standpipe version. So let's go ahead and get this test done. Okay, everything is cleared out again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and see if we can get it to cycle, first of all. All right. We may have to conclude that this is just not going to cycle if there is a non-return valve in the drive pipe. Well, I hate to say it, but this video proves that it's just not a good idea to have a non-return valve in the drive pipe. With the stand pipe here, we got significant increase in cycle time and the PSI, which is to be expected. But as soon as we install this non-return valve, pump does not cycle. So now we know. If you've enjoyed this video, Hit that thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.